Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Role-playing games seem to be kind of a theme going on on my channel these days, but I'm having oh so much fun with them. Um, this game caught my attention for the open world role-playing style. Um, it is rather... Um, interesting setting uh, being a game set in the uh, Wild West setting of the United States um, but um, I've just played a little bit of the uh, prologue which is why I, you were looking at this screen and um, I figured that we'd uh, have some fun together with uh, the actual storyline as it is an open world game, um, I have no idea how much time I'm going to spend on this. This might very well become a very, very long series. I do have a tendency to enjoy exploring, as I like to say, every crook and nanny. Which probably is more accurate in this specific game as a mispronunciation than other games. However, um, my intention is to play this as an honorable character, um, which basically means that I intend to, to try to abide to the law and, uh, yeah, be a nice person. Not sure how that fits with my generic <clears throat> attitude towards uh, stealing things, but um, hey. Maybe I won't get the chance to steal things, so maybe Caledon's cleaning service will be closed down for this specific uh, playthrough. Anyways, let's uh, go into story and uh, select new game. And yes. Even as a Norwegian, this looks absolutely miserable. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There! Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he... You know... An old man in town. Abandoned. It ain't far. Come on! Come on! Yeah!
Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here, and you were gonna get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I... We need you strong. Okay. Let's go! Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather! Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. So even for uh, snow, I must say that the graphics are quite amazing. Year. The way the tracks show up in the snow, how the snow Can't believe just... we lost Davy too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Hey, I think I see something up the path. It's quite beautiful is what I was going to say. You up ahead. Very, very realistic as well. Micah. Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. 
Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. It's all gonna work out, Morgan. We lost a few folks, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I'm glad you're feeling so good about it. Where are all the others? Old mining camp. Back. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Yeah. So I do apologize if the game audio is a bit too soft in this episode. Um, I need to actually hear it on YouTube myself. But I will be uh, tweaking the sound if necessary. What worries me is that certain gun noises and stuff like that are quite loud. rather been on the secure side than uh, having my voice being non-hearable. Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Hello? Excuse me. Hello! Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. <coughs> I got folks, Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's a corpse right here. Arthur, there's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen, keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think to go now. Okay, let's uh, equip the gun. Now, and, uh, should have climbed like hoo -hoo. and hoo hoo Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going 
too well. Goddamn original boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. But go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Ugh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. A little bit of food. Then our satchel. Biscuits. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here too. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Mike found a dead body in the wagon outside. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Some weird light artifacts as far as I can see. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Might be related to uh, being in first person view. Meet me out here when you're done. Yep. Seems so. I prefer to be in first person view when I'm uh, doing fights. They're here. Is anything else here? Maybe one of those boxes? No. Okay, let's head back down then. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we need. Sure. Oh, running in the snow, that's... Uh, it's tough. Hi there. to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care but bring that horse when you're done oh. I don't know anything else <laughs> spare him get the hell out of here go to pick up gun 
Of course, our hat. That is important. To focus on the horse and calm it down. Pat it a bit. There's a good horse. Some of the controls are a bit... I wouldn't say Yankee, but uh, I'm just not used to them. It is a console port. It might be better for me to play this with a... Controller. and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink of something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Yes, I need to write the autosave. Bright light, bright light. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? 
Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And... He looked for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. No, it wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ha! Two hours ago, most. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. They continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot, Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Whoa! Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. This really looks miserable. I am not fond of snow in real life. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again.
Let's see if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. That horse seems to have been mauled badly. Yeah, this looks safe. Slippery, be careful. close to the wall up this way come on better eat something um canned kidney beans seems fine that sounds closer now come on we're coming john Bouncy people, especially in this weather. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John, can you hear me? Quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Get you on that horse. Oh, get him out of here. 
up that. shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, then they're getting eaten to death, ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Right, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So I think. We get strong, we get warm, we wait. To complete. Either of those, but that's fine. Breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. 
But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubt me too? Never. Good. Cause you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, cause they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. Okay, I think that's a good uh, spot to uh, end the first episode. So thank you all so very much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.